Hi there, this is uh, another walk, another country park. This time I'm in the Glenford Breeze Country Park, which is on the Glenford Breeze, which uh, the Glenford Breeze actually marks the southern edge of the town of Paisley. And part of it, I'm not, I'm not, it's quite, quite a big bit of it, has been turned into a country park. I don't know when it was turned into a country park, but it's been a kind of country park for a good wee while. And some of it's still used by farmers. So it's like, if you go up to the upper reaches of it, there is uh, some uh, island cattle. And there's also a lot of other wildlife. And there's a couple of uh, car parks. There's the one that I've just left which is just off one of the main roads in Glenburn, which is one of the areas of Paisley. And there's also the Robertson Car Park, which is known as the Car Park in the Sky. And I think there's one just outside Barhead, which is actually on the Fernies Breeze, but the paths there lead you around to the Glenford Braze as well. So there's quite a lot of area for people to go walking in. And it's quite, quite a pretty, quite, quite a pretty country park. Quite a cold day today. Uh, I think I've got a couple of uh, light left. So I'm gonna try and kind of get as much in as I can. Let you all see it. And hopefully you like what you see. The wee open area here. Just coming off the path at least from the car park at Glenburn. And this is where you come out. So that's the way I've just come. That's where the car park is. There's another path there that leads up. And over that way, just over the houses and through the trees, is where Glasgow is. And if you were wanting to walk over to Barhead, you would follow that path there. And that would take you over Brownside Braes and Fernies Braes. For all of you out there who love Scottish poetry, uh, Robert Tannehill, Paisley's weaver poet, used to come for some of the long walks. I'm not going for Braise. Despite the fact he had a bad leg, he supposedly walked for about 10 miles a day. And it was the Glen for Braise that were one of his main inspirations. You can see the view through there. Hold down a wee bit. And in the far distance, I'm not sure if you can see it, but on a clear day, if you can just make it out, you can actually see all the way up to the trussocks. Uh, Loch Lomond in the trussocks is that close.
This is one of the reservoirs that dots the Glover Breeze. I think it's actually kind of quite a popular gathering spot during the summer when it's nice and hot. If it's nice and hot, as Scotland after all. So I think it was kind of quite a popular meeting point last summer, so it was 2018. Because we did have quite a hot summer last year. So I'm going to continue up this way. Now the walks and on the Glover Breeze can be steep in places but you do get some amazing views Yeah, you would not think that this was in the outskirts of one of Scotland's, I think Scotland's largest town. Probably a better view there. Those mountains and hills in the distance. That's the Trussocks. So that's where Loch Lomond is. And you're up in the breeze and you're looking for somewhere to sit down. They have some strategically placed benches. It's a gorge down there. And you can see there, there's a Another body of water down there. That's uh, the Stanley Reservoir. That's where Stanley Castle is. Stanley Castle used to be owned by the Boyles who owned Kilburn Castle and Country Centre. Uh, so it was surrounded by a bog. I'll have to go to Rack and Ruin, then they built a reservoir around it. All the land was sold to the, the water company who built the reservoir. But that's Glasgow over that way, and that's Paisley, and the foreground, or the kind of midground. I'm going to see if I can continue on a wee bit. I think I'm quite actually quite close to the Creaky Lee waterfall. So I think I've got to go down that path there. That should take me around to it. And I don't know how much it's going to be flowing at this time of year because there hasn't been too much rain. And last summer was quite a dry summer. But I can go down and see what's happening. Yeah, the paths can be a bit narrow in places. I'm just going to stop shooting there and I'm going to scramble around and try and see what I can find. Well, I think we might actually be in luck. I think we must be about a 
a hundred yards away from the waterfall itself and I can hear it from here. Don't know if you can hear it in the video, but I can hear it. So I'm gonna keep walking around and hopefully you like what you see, because that's quite a pretty waterfall. And you probably wouldn't know it was here unless you actually knew where to come looking. I've been to a couple of, to a couple of times before and yeah, it's a really pretty little spot in the breeze and definitely, I would definitely recommend it. Okay, I'm going to keep walking around. That's the way I've just come. The waterfall's this way. And for anyone who's actually interested, there is actually the Tanhill well, the Tanhill walk, which takes you through part of the Glenford Bays. I think part of it's up that way there. So I'll show you after I show you the waterfall, which has a little sign here pointing in the right direction. So it's. Down this wee way here. And you can probably hear it now. So just but when you're up in the bridge, just be kind of careful with your foot and there are some of the paths have some more stones on them. So just take your time and enjoy the sights. Yeah. So I'm gonna go all the way down here and that path down there. And you can probably see just a river at the bottom. Yeah, so I'm pretty easy. You definitely need some good footwear. But I mean, you are, you are out in the country at this point. It's just around that corner. So I'm going to stop filming just now, get myself down at the path, and show you it when I get there, okay? And excuse the plane going overhead. That's the way I've just come, just in all those steps, and the waterfall is this way. I actually did a reading from my Collector of Tannehill, Robert Tannehill songs and poems at this spot. Now that one's called Movie of a Poet. And there you go. Uh, if this isn't a, isn't a hidden gem, I don't know what it is. You really would not think that this was on the edge of Scotland's largest town, Paisley. You could probably walk into the town centre quite easily from here. But it's my foot that do that, it's a bit wet underfoot. And you can actually stand right in front of the waterfall. Oh, 
but that's me got into the waterfall and I'm trying to speak up a wee bit so I can get heard over the water but this is a gorgeous wee spot um, very uh, very inspirational if you're, if you're if you're coming up here to follow in the footsteps of Robert Tannehill and get some uh, literary inspiration and just to think that uh, probably one of Scotland's greatest poets, probably one of Scotland's most underrated poets, he used to come up here for inspiration, and I can totally see why. Well, I said that I had done a reading down at the waterfall, which it was actually filmed uh, by Gavin Divers, who runs. I think it's called Heritage and Mysteries. But as I'll find the video and I'll put a link to it in the description below. So you can always follow that link and uh, watch that video and watch me reading uh, one of Robert Tannehill's poems. If I remember correctly, it was the Braise of Glenifer, which would be appropriate being up near Glenifer Braise. So, what I'm going to do. Once I've caught my breath, is I'm going to go in that direction and I'm going to do, uh, have a wee look around at part of the Tannehill Walk, let you all see it, and I think I'll be kind of wandering home after that. And there's so much more to see in the breeze, as I, this will only be a little taster of what there is. So I would definitely recommend if you're in the Paisley area, Definitely come up and have a wander in the Glenford Breeze, it's definitely worth it. You definitely get to get your exercise for the day in. And so, oh, some of the walks can, as I was saying earlier on, can be pretty steep. But I think it's definitely worth it. And it's just a beautiful part of the country to actually be spending time in. So I'll kind of be finishing my wee walk up, off up here. And yeah, so I could just continue on my way. Yeah, it's really cold today, so there's supposed to be snow on the way. But sometimes days like that are the best because the days go for a nice wee walk. So this is the, the wee burn. Been speeding the waterfall down there. We we foot bridge over it. So that there is the path to the Robertson car park, or the car park in the sky, which is the car park that's actually up on the breeze itself. I decided to stop for a moment and just to appreciate the view and again I know as I said in one of my previous videos I said this is why I love Scotland is no matter where you are 
you're never really that far from something beautiful or spectacular. There's always some sort of wee hidden gem somewhere. And I know people have talked about Paisley, but how it all is not that good. But like anyone, it's got its bad It's got its got its bad bits, but it's always also got its really beautiful bits. And I would definitely say the Glyph of Braes is one is one of them. And yeah, you can't come to somewhere like Paisley and not go somewhere and appreciate the view. So I'll kind of let, let you have another wee look at the view before I finish. So I'm going to say goodbye to you just now. And if you like what you see, if you enjoy my videos, I actually hope you do, please click on the subscribe button. Please click on the notification bell. It's always really appreciated. And like my videos, leave comments on the, on the the comment bar. Let me know what you think. And if you know of anywhere in Scotland that you'd like me to go visit, go have a look at, there's a wee hidden gem. Please let me know in the the comment section. And I'll do my best to try and kind of visit as many of these wee places as I can. And. Hopefully I'll see you all in the next video. See you later. Bye-bye.